Weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. A lot of reports coming out of the storms this afternoon and evening, one of which this is just south of LSU here in Baton Rouge. Patrick and Lana submitted this photo and this is in the River Bend neighborhood and you could see uh, some hail sizes as uh, large as three inches in di uh, diameter more than likely the ping pong ball size, tennis ball size. Some are saying over three inches in terms of diameter with these hailstones and then across the river in Addis, you can see this is right about a little more than two inches in diameter. This was submitted by Jennifer and then some hail damage. That's some significant damage for some of these cars for the remainder of the night. If you live in low lying areas or even you don't have a garage or anything like that, I would take precautions just to be safe because we could still have some hail, likely not damage like this and certainly not the big hail that we saw earlier, but that's still a risk. This was sent in by Erica, again, hail and Addis. And here are some of the hail reports. The National Weather Service sends these out. We're able to show these to you guys. And then one of which, this was in EBR Parish, that same area, the uh, River Bend neighborhood. This was about three inches in diameter. That is very large hail for Southeast Louisiana. And again, that threat for some hail continues. However, we're talking an inch in diameter, so about uh, quarter size hail, maybe a little higher, uh, bigger than that. But you can see some of the storms continue to back build from north to south, but rain coverage is starting to come down. Thankfully, we had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings not too long ago, but those expired. One of which this one particular area in downtown Baton Rouge, there is a flood advisory now, and that means just some minor flooding. But if we continue to see the heavy rain fall over these areas within this advisory, there could be a flash flood warning issued. So we're watching for that uh, rain totals half of an inch all the way up to about five inches for our area, and we're still not done with the rain. So we have that flood watch in place through early tomorrow morning. As for the severe thunderstorm, watch that is until 11 o'clock. And so again, as we lose this daytime heating, get closer to midnight and certainly one, two o'clock in the morning, our rain chances will likely come to an end. Severe weather threat comes to an end. But tomorrow we do have the chance for some spotty storms. Like I mentioned, 74 degrees. It actually feels decent out there. So temperatures overnight will hold steady in the 70s. Rain chances about 20%. That's going to be after about 1 a.m. Tomorrow, will warm up into the low and mid 90s. Feels like temperatures will still be in the triple digits. It's just not going to be as unbearable, so we're not looking at any heat alerts. For Thursday, rain chances are also about 30%, so it's not going to be as widespread. But by the afternoon, you see that there, storms bubbling up, but the best chance for rain tomorrow looks to be along in south of I-10 and especially closer to the coast. Thursday again, we'll have highs in the mid 90s. Friday, same goes about a 40% chance for rain, but then Saturday and Sunday, look at that rain chances are going down and our heat is cranking right back up and over the weekend we will likely at least start to reintroduce some of those heat advisories, if not excessive heat warnings. So I know it's one or the other you guys. I, I just want 